Before placing concrete, you should use the pre-pour list found on the outside of the tie box. Track securely fastened to footing. Quadlock ties placed 12 inches on center, both vertically and horizontally. Metal corner brackets and tie flanges in place. Vertical braces spaced every 6 to 8 feet along the wall, depending on the height. Angled walls should be checked for outside angle brackets and gaps in panels foamed. Window and door openings checked for square, braced horizontally and vertically, slots and sills for access, and 1x4 or wind locks fastened securely around the perimeter. Wire top ties at each end of top units and at 24 inches. Metal track secured on top of wire top ties and wall. Walls plumb, straight, square and level. Extra bracing material on site and handy. Ask your concrete producer about their ICF mix. The concrete mix should be highly flowable and able to meet the specified compressive strength requirements. However, these standards should always be followed. Compressive Strength Requirement ASTM Standard C-94 Subsection 13 or CSA Standard A23.1. A maximum 6 inch slump in accordance with ASTM Standard C-143 Subsection 11 or CSA Standard A23.2. Ideally, the concrete pumping equipment you have ordered should be a boom type with a maximum 3 inch diameter hose on the end. Start in a corner and work around the perimeter. Place 2 to 3 feet of concrete in the first lift. Place concrete under the windows from the sills. The second and consecutive lifts should be 3 to 4 feet high. Consolidation with a pencil vibrator or rotting with a length of rebar is recommended. Do not over vibrate. Concrete buildup on the ties and rebar can be removed using the vibrator or by shaking the vertical rebar. If you're continuing up with panels and ties later, make sure to cover the top of the panels. Nail two 1x4s at a 90 degree angle and move them along as you pour. Pour only to the middle of the top row of panels. If you're not continuing up, trowel the top and set the J-bolts. Now that you've poured the concrete, check the alignment of the wall. In all cases, make sure that you place the concrete in accordance with national standards and local building codes. Thanks for being with us. The quad lock system is easy to build with when following the basic principles we have shown. We look forward to hearing from you about your quad lock project. For more information, please refer to the advanced section of this presentation.